Hey, I'm back. This is Chandler for Melder Production, and today I'm going to be showing you M-Tuner. So this is a fairly simple plugin. I've been using this for a while, and one of the reasons is it's free and it works well. And before I used it, just for those reasons. But actually, there's two new additions that you should probably check out, and they're really cool. So the first one I want to show is the Polyphonic Tuner. So you see here, it has the normal tuner, and I have my guitar, which is really out of tune here like that and of course you can adjust things like the stabilization the minimum frequency maximum frequency which is really useful but what they added is a polyphonic tuner so here you can select the uh, notes here uh, as many as you want here it can do up to I guess eight notes which is really useful if you have an eight string guitar so like that, that's great I wish I actually had an eight eight string guitar but I don't but I do have a seven string so this is really good for me uh, in advance here you can adjust the threshold uh, you know, note threshold, harmonics, etc. So there's lots of things you can do here. But when we open this up, you see now here is where like the magic goes. Uh, so if I play notes, you can actually see at the bottom what notes are playing and if they're out of tune. So I can see which is like really far out of tune. So like my G is really bad. So I can now go to my G. And look like the B was also bad. B is not good. Uh, it looks like also my high E. Maybe my A string. Still not perfect, but much closer. And so I'm using new strings, so everything's out of tune. But generally, I usually find that, you know, it's just one or two of my strings are out of tune. Instead of trying to do every single one, I can just hit all of them at the same time and just determine by looking at that quickly, oh, okay, it's just the D string and my high E strings out of tune and just tune those. So it saves a lot of time and, you know, it's just a really cool feature. You know, it seems like it's not that big, but it is. It actually does save you a little bit of time and makes things, you know, a lot more pleasant to look at, I think. But let's move on from that. That's a cool feature. But another really cool feature you probably noticed is this MIDI output. And you're probably saying like, okay, what what is this? And what this does is it allows you to actually output MIDI so you can control like a synthesizer or something. So this probably won't replace your, you know, audio to MIDI stuff. But if you're just looking for something like fast and easy to get your idea from your guitar or I guess even technically you could do your voice. Although I found like the voice, I can't sing in tune well enough to get it to work uh, the way I like it. But any other instrument you can and just get it into your DAW into MIDI, you can use this. So... Let me start something up here. So I have in power synth. It's just set on a like typical lead sound. And I'll enable this. And you'll notice that now you actually can get some sound out of it. So that's good. And I probably want to do a little bit more because I want to record this. So one of the things, this is just for Reaper. If you're using another DAW, it may not be... Uh, the same you might have to do something else uh so one thing i'm going to have to do is i believe it go into here is it io yeah midi output changes to merge with midi bus and another thing i need to do is change what is it here i believe oh, no nope. in here and so it's record output and then midi so now that I have all this, it should record. And I should say this is monophonic and not polyphonic. So to get better results, I think you'll get better tracking by just switching this to monophonic. And also, I like to change the uh, pitch bend range to zero. Because if not, it will actually track pitch bends, which I was surprised about. But I actually don't want that to happen. So let's try it now and just record something quickly. So there we go, and then we can just play that back. I need to turn off the tuner if I want to play it back, but yeah. So 
you see it records it in there you probably need to clean the MIDI up a little bit so this isn't a perfect solution for you know uh, tracking your guitar and playing it in MIDI but if you just need something fast to jot down ideas or if you just need like a, a slow line to put in there this can be uh, very helpful for those of you like me who can't play keyboards very well so Hope this gave you an idea of what you can do with this plugin M Tuner. And the best part of all of this is it's free. It doesn't cost anything. So you can just go to meldedprotection.com and download it. And there you go. You have a wonderful tool and it didn't cost you anything. So if you like this, give me a thumbs up, leave me a message down below, and check out all the other plugins at meldedprotection.com. Until next time, see you.